I'm Information Officer Giovanni Herbert here with the Director for Public Works, Mr. Jeremy Hodge in Brandywine Bay. Uh, Director Hodge, you've started a series of road works. Uh, we've seen work started in Sikaus Bay. We see that you have completed some works here by Gene Hill and Fish Bay uh, Road, all on Black, the Black um, Blackburn Highway, yes. which is all this ex this extent of road, this vein. And you've mentioned that you're um, addressing the primary roads first. Um, tell us what we are experiencing, what the guys are doing down here at this moment here in Brandywine Bay. Okay, great Gio. Um, we're out here in Brandywine Bay, as I mentioned previously on the interview you mentioned. Um, the idea is to get some consistent good roads on the primary roads and we start by in phases. This first phase basically is to take us from town over Gene Hill and that, that, that half of the road, you notice that we paved the hill going down into Fish Bay. Yes. Um, cut that area where we never completed in front of Clarence Thomas is now completed. And then as you go over Sleepy Hill, Sophie Bay Hill, straight over to Brandywine Bay, we're continuing here in Brandywine Bay, where you see these guys are putting down the scratch coat yes. on the road. Explain that scratch coat. Scratch coat is the first um, layer of asphalt that you put on the road before you put the final surface of asphalt, which will be a second layer. Okay. The first layer normally has bigger aggregates in it, a, a tougher layer of asphalt, and then you put uh, the nice one that you like to drive on that, that feels good. It acts like a, a coating in, in, in essence. Exactly. Uh, more, more All right, and so they're doing one side, I see at the moment. Yeah, doing one side to allow traffic to pass, and then they'll do the other side, and then traffic will be able to pass on the scratch coat on this side right and so how far down are we looking at going i know right now we are at the base of uh when you come over from sophie bay yes into brandywine bay we're at the beach area um are they working back towards the hill or are they going to continue we're, towards the easterly part of the island we're heading towards the the east yes. um we're going to go straight across there to the college area we're going to skip between the abattoir and um, we call it the Wilk Point, okay. and we're gonna jump straight over to Fat Hogs Bay because between that area, some infrastructure works are supposed to begin for that stretch of road, which will be concrete surface, then finished with asphalt, with some drainage and, and what have you out there. So we'll continue from where they stop, over in the Fat Hogs Bay area, over to Yep, the Yep area, and then we'll be doing some, we'll be doing that Greenland Road heading up there by Andy's Car Rock Wash, okay. out to the main road and some sections going out to, to Parham Town. Make it decent, heading straight through. All right, so currently there's a bulletin that's out regarding this work. Yes. Um, it says that next week, Wednesday, uh, we should see a completion of that work, of this work. Is it, is it the full East End or is it that portion that you mentioned towards the college? The portion towards the college. The portion towards the college. And yes. then I guess you'll send out uh, based off of depending yes. on the weather and all this stuff. If, yeah. So persons may ask, you know, and I think you mentioned it, you touched briefly on it um, during the interview with regards to the hurricane season, you know, should we be doing this now? Is it better to do this now or after? Um, and, and I think you, you gave a, 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 your, your response to that was that um, it's okay to do that now. It's actually better. Can you explain that? Once we have sun, Gio, <laughs> once we have sun, if it's a little rain, the little rain helps to set the asphalt faster right. so that when you drive on it, it's already set and they won't have any kind of uh, movement or any induations in, in the asphalt. So the day before we had torrential rains, so we didn't come out the next day because we wanted the, the, the saturation to subside a bit, right. right? So we're out here today in full sun. It's not gonna rain every day. It's gonna rain in between and we'll have to make judgment calls depending on how much rain comes out. Uh, but yes, it's a hurricane Atlantic season, but it's not gonna stop us from doing what we need to do. Okay, and okay. is that better for the roads that you have these asphalt down prior to or it doesn't matter? It's better um, if we could have started before because we'd have had clearer days consistently and get through faster. Mm -hmm. But um, unless you have consistent rains throughout the end of the year, we, we, we'll be fine. 
Okay, okay. Right. Um, tell us about um, some of the other works that's uh, um, in train. I know that you mentioned um, off camera, offline, that Bruce Bay is about to start. Um, tell us about that, that works. Yes, we'll be doing some works in the Bruce Bay area. That's that hill that goes down or leads down to the community center. Okay. Where it has some uh, dilapidated concrete road surfaces there. Um, we're going to be addressing that come next week. Okay. Okay. There are two sections. So persons living in that area, we're asking you to be patient with us. We'll be there for um, the, the roadway areas will be about two weeks. The two sections that we're addressing. Yes. And then there's a little wall that we have to build to retain a portion of the little bypass road onto that main road as well, which will take uh, another week. So be patient with us over the next two to three weeks in that area. Um, if you can use alternate routes, we recommend it to just allow us to deal with those areas swiftly. Okay. And I guess they'll look out for the road signs or personnel that would guide in, in that interim. Um, tell us a little bit of the scope of works there. I know you mentioned the wall. Does that re re require, you know, um, excavators to take up that old concrete? And yeah. how is that a difference in terms of, uh, you know, like I saw in calls me, those guys would have to dig out the section of the road and then they'll have yeah. to set it and these kind of it's stuff. The, it's, the same, it's the same process. We're going to have to remove. We already saw cut those sections saw mm -hmm. cut basically mean we took the road saw it's like a wood saw but for concrete right. it cuts through the concrete so we can mark that area that we want to remove so we did that in two sections we're going to remove it prepare the base come up with the the steel and the concrete to, to complete so you're going to be in both those sections so it's not just a quick fix it's actually a process it's a process to ensure that there'll be durability and sustainability right. in the infrastructure of the road of course okay yeah. all right is there any other thing that you would like to leave with us as we um peruse the works that's taking place here uh just be patient with us <laughs> be patient as we try to address these roads um they've been bad for for quite some time as we went through the process trying to get the approvals to do these works and um just just be patient with us Right? Every time you say, darn it, they're out here again, just remember what the end result is going to be. Because right, right. <laughs> okay. so easy sometimes we forget. Eh? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, um, Director Hodge. Yes. I'm Information Officer Giovanni Herbert for the Ministry of Communications and Works and the Department of Information and Public Relations. Stay tuned for more updates and news. Visit our government website at bvi.gov.vg for latest updates regarding infrastructural works and anything new within our territory. Territory.